Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this Casio FX 991EX or Casio FX 570EX class with scientific calculator to do inequality calculation of polynomials with this calculator. This calculator can do second, third, and fourth degree inequality calculation with polynomials. To go to inequality, press menu and then letter B. Now it asks for the degree, which you can select between 0 to 4. And we can select here. If you want to learn all the features of this calculator, I have a full video that covers everything. This portion has been extracted from the main video. You can visit that video by clicking right now on the top of the screen, or the link is below the video in the description because our, our equation in this case the highest power is 2 I'm going to select 2 by pressing 2 so here are the examples that we see which one matches and as you can see here we are looking for smaller than 0 for the quadratic we are pressing 2 and this screen has empty spot for the coefficients for the first one for the first one we press we enter 1 and then press equal sign then we go for the second one, 2, and then the last one is minus 3. I'm pressing this minus and then 3 and press equal. Once everything is completed, press equal. And you will see the answer here. X is smaller than 1 or X is greater than 3. Then this inequality will be true. So under this condition, if I press S and D, you will see it in this format where X is greater than a and smaller than b so a is minus 3 and b is 1 or you can see it like this the format that you saw with s and d will be different with math and line so they will be switched now let's see for this inequality which has equal and greater then we press option go one polynomial and the degree is two and here we select this option number three now the coefficient of first term or highest term is 2, press equal and then minus 3, this minus and 3, equal and then 1. And if I press equal sign, we get the answer. So this equation is true under the condition that x is equal or greater than 1 and x is equal or smaller than 0 0.5. If I press this button, you see 0 0.5 and 1. So x is greater than or equal b, which is 1, and equal than 0.5. Rare to return to normal calculation, press mode, and then 1. If you want to learn all the features of this calculator, I have a full video that covers everything. This portion has been extracted from the main video. You can visit that video by clicking right now on the top of the screen, or the link is below the video in the description. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please thumb up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it.